God. Amen. Give me a Genesis. Amen. Genesis. This morning I stand in defense of the word of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and in defense of Pastor Kim Burrell. Amen. Amen. Let's see what the Bible says. Then in defense. God has never given any human being the right to mess with his creation. He does not give you the right to mess with creation. Yes, sir. God does not give you the right. No. Let's see the plan of God so that you'll know it. So that you won't be silent. Amen. Genesis chapter 2. Do not fall for the myth. Amen. Amen. This uh, a woman of God who's addressing an issue in her church has been jumped on by the entertainment industry. Uh, jumped on by uh, uh, other groups who don't want their perversion messed with. Amen. Well, let's just see what the Bible says about it. And yet they want to bring out, I was just reading an article in my office um, talking about the opinion of LGBT pastors. There is no such thing. <laughs> Amen. And their reasoning and so let's just see what the Bible says. Uh, Genesis chapter 2. Verse, uh, verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. All right, read. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying... I'll tell you what. Um, no, I want to start. Just start at verse 7. Let's see the mind of God. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. How do you know that's true? No matter what you use, wipe the back of your neck. <laughs> and if you don't wipe the back of your neck frequently, leave all suede garments alone. That's right. <laughs> wipe the back of your neck. I don't care what type of deep cleanse. You're right. All right. You formed out the dust. Read. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Read. And the Lord. Keep reading. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So then now from verses 10 to 14 you see the water system of, of Eden. You see what God from the beginning and yet when I'm going to land at, you're going to see something was missing. We're going to defend what was missing. <laughs> Read. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison. That is, it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. So from the beginning, money was never issued. No, sir. Amen. From the beginning, you can't, you can't have paradise without some gold. 
Amen. Now y'all, y'all ain't got nothing talking about this paradise. Now where the gold at? In the beginning, the paradise is 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 symbolic of gold. There was gold there. Amen. Amen. Remember, I messed your Christmas message up. Say when they brought gifts to Jesus, they brought what? Gold. Right? It was the gold that was going to get them to go to Egypt to avoid that killer satanic spirit called Herod. Right? Now they never had a problem with money. Money is a defense. But money is not supposed to make you be quiet when it's time to stand for God. That's right. Don't get it twisted. Right? So here's the gold in paradise. Read. And the gold of that land is good. Oh, yeah, it is. Read. There is bedellum and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hadekel. That is, it which goeth towards the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. All right, Euphrates. All right, then verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. So from the beginning, man was not designed to be lazy. If you're married to a lazy man, tell him that's not God's design. <laughs> Can't get amen, all right? Some of y'all love lazy men. That's why it's your car, your house. He should not be able to approach you with a sack of greens and an owl green eight track. He's supposed to have something. All right, here we go. It's early in the year, but I'm good. All right? Quit falling in love with lazy. <laughs> lazy. Did I say Al Green? Yeah. All right, I meant Al 8 track. Let you know he ain't been the best buy in a while. <laughs> uh, quit falling in love with lazy men. Mm -hmm. Quit falling in love with hustlers that are lazy men. Quit putting money on the book. I'm going to keep going until somebody say amen. Quit putting money on the books of lazy men. Huh? Amen. Mm, there you go. All right. Some of y'all like, I know. He's lazy, but I love him. Well, mm -mm. love the word more. Read. <laughs> and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat. Man, man, God has never placed a man anywhere without giving him instruction. Amen. From the beginning. Amen. A man has to hear God. He, he comes from instruction. Wherever God place, if he place you in paradise, instruction comes with it. Yes, sir. You never get beyond instruction. Read. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. God has the right to direct your lifestyle. He can tell you what to participate in and what not to. That is God's sovereign right. He's a sovereign God. That's why the Bible said he created man. You did not create yourself. That's a song. You did not make yourself. No, sir. You have a God to please, a God to live for, a God to amen serve yes, sir. from the beginning. From the beginning. See, so you got all these freelance people. Um, who are you are mesmerized by their gifts. I'm not. I know where the gifts came from. Trust me, the same God that, 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 that put celebrities in the ground is up to it for this year. Leave his people alone. Leave his messenger alone. Leave his vessels alone. Amen. You are short-circuiting your own sin. Amen. Uh, oh, come on. You got to leave what God love alone. I, I'll get to that later. Amen. Uh, read. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. From the beginning, there's always been consequences for disobedience. Yes, sir. To this day, on this eighth day in January 2017, there's a consequence for disobedience. If you run a red light, there's no time to pull out your little psalm book. Amen. I go into some generic tongue. You are going to get a ticket. Don't unbutton your blouse. Amen. You going to get a ticket. All right. You <laughs> ran a red light. Huh? Don't be talking about I'm on my way to church and I try to get there for prayer. 
you disobey the law. Amen. And make sure you put your hands on the dash. Okay, make sure you put your hands. Don't go reaching for nothing. <laughs> Might be your last reach. There's, there's always been, you cannot have paradise if there's no consequence for disobedience. Let's go back to the beginning. Right? It's always a consequence. Read. And the Lord God said. Oh, verse 18. We about to land here. Call your restaurant at 1030. We're going to be out of here. <laughs> so what did the what what so so we got we got gold, we got trees, we got instruction, we ain't got no lazy man, we got him dressing, but something's missing. Right. Something missing. Something missing. Tell somebody in your row, something missing. Something missing. <laughs> uh, something missing. Something missing. Uh huh? Something missing. Yeah, it is. Oh, come on, I'm going to get something missing, y'all. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all got to know what, if, if you don't know what's missing, you're going to miss the message. <laughs> it's something, who's trying to call me on Sunday? Ah, you got to be kidding. Uh, read. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. It still ain't good. Hmm? It still ain't good. Huh? Mm -hmm. It ain't good for man to be alone with a bunch of computers. <laughs> it ain't good. <laughs> it ain't good for man to be alone with a computer. Amen. I told him this morning, if that man can't handle an iPhone, you need to go get a big brick phone. Motorola. That way you can't pick up nothing. <laughs> huh? It's not good for man to be alone. Huh? When a man is by himself, it affects his body. It affects his spirit. It affects it, uh, his health. Amen. A single man, proven fact, a single man will die before a married man. So that knock out the fact you're talking about your wife killing you. No. She, she, oh, man. Good to be in a free church. Amen. Good to be in a free church. I'm Martin Luther King up here today, y'all. I'm free. Free. At, huh? It's not good for a man to be alone. Amen. Amen. Any length of time. Amen. Period. Right. Amen. Every time uh, uh, my son talked to me about a, pro, uh, a prospect, huh? I get excited. He was in the Red Sea in the mud. You know, he liked doing stuff like that. He in the Red Sea in the mud. I seen that other creature in the mud with him. I said, if mud can't hide to be, I said, who that? <laughs> Uh, D-A-T, who that in the mud still looking fine? I want to know who that is. Huh? A girl had mud all over her, boy, but I said, who that right there? Amen. Huh? Right, hey, uh, there was a young lady from Chicago. He had nothing to offer her. She made $150,000. She got a Panamera. She got a Porsche. She got a vet. She got Q56. She make about six figures from her house. He had nothing to offer her. He thought she was the one. Now, Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's in Paris right now trying to get to Istanbul. And when he get there, he going to ask this creature out. Good griggly wiggly. This a creature. And she is from England. Oh, I just want to hear you talk, baby. Just, just say hello. Huh? A, a, a creature. I'm going to show Lil' John this creature. Me and Lil' John go way back. <laughs> huh? So what's your point? So I want you to think, amen, I'm lopsided. Amen. It's not good for any man to be alone. Amen. amen. Period. Period. Uh, and it's better, come on, women, where I find this picture. It's better that a man know what he want. Amen. Uh -huh. a, a man need to know what he wants out of life. Hold up. So little John, little John, little John. <laughs> little John, little John. So some. I want you to judge by little John's response. 
Mm. Talking about now, I can't pull it up. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. I got it more than once. <laughs> Woo! I said, right, keep reading. I'm gonna find it for little John, man. I'm gonna find this. Good gracious. I will make me. him and help meet for him. He'll ma make him a what? A help. Meet. Is that M E E T or? No, it's M E A T. It's M E E T. But 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 can we throw in M E A T too? <laughs> huh? Hurry up, phone. I'm getting up. Mm. Look, John. <laughs> uh, what you think? Hello. <laughs> Buddy. Yes, Lord. L A W D. <laughs> My go get, excuse me. Mama get get the full full view. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yes, sir, rebud. Amen. Uh oh, uh, it's not good for Rafi to be alone. Huh? Amen. Mm. Read 18 again. I'm inspired now. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Read. I will make him and help meet for him. But I, what I will. Uh, uh, can't get ahead of myself. Look at verse 19. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field. So Vira in Hebrew, it's funny, he changes the subject. Yes, sir. God's talking. Right? That's ain't good for man to be alone. So let me, he going to cover the farmer. Right, read, read. And every fowl of the air mm -hmm. and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. That was the name thereof, all right? So he also put that in man to identify things and call things. That's why you don't want to marry a priest without opinion. He's going outside the will of God. That's he got to be able to name. So he got to be able to That's name good. the house y'all going to live in. Amen. He got to be able to name the whip y'all going to ride in. He got to be able to name the career. You can't be talking about no silent man. He's going against nature. A man has to talk. A man need to know what he wants. A man needs to open his mouth and speak it. Whatsoever thou thinkest so easy. Amen. Somebody thank God. Amen. Man, we talking about in the beginning, huh? A man needs to know where he wants to take his family. He has to open his mouth and call things. That's why when a father puts his child down, the child never gets over it. It sticks. Okay? So this nullifies you can't be hooked up with an abusive man. Right. Huh? Because if he calls his son or daughter something, Amen. It sticks to them. He was he was created to identify things. Oh, this is good stuff. All right, I'm almost done. All right, good, good. all right. Uh, so he named them in verse twenty. And Adam gave names to all cattle, mm -hmm. and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found and help meet for him. Nothing on the farm for Adam. <laughs> Nothing's on the farm for Adam. No green acre is nothing for Adam. No sheep, no nothing. Leave the sheep alone. Huh? Even the sheep know it ain't right. They say, bye. <laughs> Leave them alone. Nothing on the farm. Huh? The donkey, the horse, leave them all alone. Amen. Uh, back in the Bible, it's called bestiality. Leave, some people can't go to the zoo. Leave them alone. Nothing for you at the zoo. Anytime they rebuke your zoo pass, something wrong with you. You a pervert. Huh? Anytime you go to the zoo and all the animals run from you. 
You a pervert, huh? Anytime you got a gorilla banging on the plexiglass, something wrong. <laughs> something wrong with you, huh? Anytime a gorilla will take a baby gorilla and hide it from you, something wrong with you. All right, we in the Bible, read. So what did God do? And the Lord God caused a deep sleep. Had to knock him out. Read. To fall upon Adam. Knock out. Knock that man out. Read. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs. What did he take a rib? What did he make? And closed up the flesh instead thereof. Didn't want man to see it because man was never supposed to be abusive. I don't want to see. I want you to see this violent cut and what I got to remove out of you. Let's see what he pulled out of man. And the, mm. and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. Did he make another man for man? No, sir. Did he make another man for man? No, sir. Uh-uh. He did not make another man. You can't make God give man, give a man to another man. That is against a will of God. Period, huh? God did not make man for man. Your Bible said the woman was made for man. How many y'all believe that? Amen. The woman. And can't nobody change it. Dolce or Gabbana, Tom Ford can't change it. Can't nobody change it. Amen. amen. God made one. If you're a woman, you were made for a man. Amen. God did not make another man for a man. I don't care about your cousin, your first cousin, your daddy, if it's in your family. If a man is with a man, that is perversion and an abomination. If a woman is with a woman, that is a, a perversion, abomination. They cannot produce anything. He did not give man another man. He gave man something with ovaries. He gave man something with a fallopian tube. He gave man something with a vagina. He gave man something, amen, that would have an Amen. That's what he gave, man. Be fruitful and multiply. You can't change it. Hollywood can't change it. The Grammys can't change it. The world can't change it. Ellen can't change it. That's what God made. Somebody say, yeah, Lord. Lord, I believe you. Get your phone out and record me. Oh, what a, all that crazy stuff. God don't care about no Hollywood. Come on, come on. Huh? Perversion. Where's the church of fault for playing with them because they were talented? Don't play with them. You don't play with no lesbian spirit. You don't play with no homosexual spirit. You don't play with no perverted spirit. God ain't never told nobody. They got the love of God twisted. It never was inclusive, amen. It was inclusive. There is a group of men that want to molest five-year-olds. We can't let them in here. There are people, amen, that want to molest... So, 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 so the Sandy Hook murderer, can we include him? He want to kill children. Right. <laughs> you don't let every spirit come in and you don't play with it. You identify it, huh? But you can't raise no child at 10. Right. Right. It's over. Yes. It's a wrap. Right. <laughs> you got to raise your child. Uh, 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 there's a, a family in the church. Because now we're in the buying home. There's a family in the church that get in this crazy house. And a part of the reason why, amen, they were worried about the down payment. I told the husband, Shh, don't speak that. Don't worry about no down payment. Right. All you want is on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Let God worry about how he's going to get you there. But the whole point of the house is not the flaw, is to give glory to God, is so that other children can come to the house and see what a mother and a father can do. Amen. So they can get around other children that are Are y'all hearing me? You gotta believe in God's plan. Amen. I don't care if you've been
been molested. I don't care if you've been raped. You still got to believe in God's plan. Amen. You got to believe in God's plan and understand that the reason why it happened it was because somebody did not deal with a perverted spirit early and a perverted spirit jumped in your family. But you still got to believe God. You got to have somebody say, I don't care what happened to me. What thus saith the Lord. Amen. And when I see the original plan and the paradigm in effect, I give God praise. I don't want you to praise God for every man and woman, family that's represented here, for every couple. Talk to me. You don't want your son bringing another man home. No, sir. Obama, you don't want no lesbian under your long leg daughter skirt. Come on. <laughs> no, you don't. No. Sign up for it. No, you don't. You don't want your daughter bringing her girlfriend home. No, you don't. No. No. <laughs> you don't want what happened out in Lincoln when a woman tried to go back to a boyfriend. You don't want that happening. Well, your daughter, amen, because her daddy wouldn't love her, so she found somebody. Then she found out she didn't like it. Man, that woman said, you ain't going back to no boyfriend. And took her out. Oh, uh, you say, well, it happens in heterosexual too. Amen. Well, we're against all perverseness here. Amen. That's why we have a Tuesday night clan, so you can be equally yoked together. We're not lopsided here. You can't call us homophobic. I don't care what you call it. We're going to still function in the body of Christ. Amen. But we handle everything that show up in here. Amen. Any form of perverseness is dealt with. God did not give man another man. So when Pastor Kim Burrell got up. And said it's perversion for a man to put his penis in the mouth of a man. She was 100% right. When she talked about the female, it's a hundred percent. Because you can't produce nothing. One thing about it. We ain't got to worry about you producing another one of you. Because you can't produce anything. Right. Hmm. Come on now. Let's keep going. And brought her unto the man. Oh, man. And look at all the people that should have stood for her. Yeah. All the mega fests and come to my convocation. No religious organization, to my knowledge, has stood up for her. That's how scared they are. So this spirit just going to come in. And let me tell you, when that spirit comes in, the wrath of God going to come with it. Amen. So look at all the people who are silent. Amen. Worried about them. Amen. Taking their little book off the shelf. I wasn't going to read their damn book anyway. Amen. Don't bring me no soft Christianity. Amen. Don't talk to me about a God you can't stand up for. Don't talk about my God getting you a platform and you ain't got nothing to say. You silent as a mouth. You want to talk about a Trump and a Hillary. But this is Satan trying to come in and you ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Worried about getting a book pulled up. Worried about their little sorry movies not being shown no more. And left the woman of God out there. But she ain't out there, amen. There's a group of people that's coming out of weak Christianity that you can't buy or sell that owe God everything. Are you here today, amen? I owe God everything. Care about being on somebody's show? That's what happens right. when you don't when you're not an owner, right. a producer, when you have your own stuff, they can't do nothing with you. Mm -hmm. When you got your own production, right. your own now you find all those people talking about all that have faith and, and wealth in the kingdom. Now now they got nothing to say. Right. They don't own anything. Now you understand. The scripture about the love of money. The love of money done bought your silence. 
Huh? Because oh, 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 you know what? Just like they shut her down, took off the radio, <laughs> told her we're not going to uh, honor her uh, at the BMIs. What? Oh, yeah, no, they on the road. Ain't nobody said nothing. Huh? Shut her down. She is not by herself. No. There is a group of people. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See, if she has some money, she can stage her own thing. I, when I say your own money, I'm talking about you own the satellite and everything. Yeah. Man, that's why the saint got to have some big money. We ain't talking about no well. We don't need no more well to do Christian. We need some rich people. Amen. That own some banks. Amen. Somebody who can cut somebody a check and say, you know what? I will broadcast this on my own satellite. Oh, y'all, man, this is too much? Amen. Oh, y'all didn't hear? God, amen, and Satan and do a line in the sand. Well, somebody bad enough to cross over it. You talking about, amen, world star is cracking now, amen. Do you want to see a fight? You about to get into a fight, amen. You talking about some world star. You can't have it any other way. <laughs> you know why I get on somebody because you soft anyway you let anything come in your family and you try to pray it away it ain't going nowhere you got to deal with it you got to deal with that perverted uncle that perverted cousin that perverted brother you don't let them babies sit you don't put your child nowhere near them you don't go to no family function you don't eat nobody's turkey you don't amen get nobody's fireworks on the floor oh hell no we don't deal with this spirit it's gonna get out of this family hey. they sitting there lusting after the next generation sure is. Jesus then your daughter don't know why can't I go to Uncle So and So? <sighs> if you go, I have a murder case. Huh? Yep. Well, how come you recruiting in the same family? Cause that person go to church, think it's gonna go. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't. Hey, if it's in you, it ain't going nowhere. You got to fight it, huh? So how come? They don't have to fight what's in them, but we got to fight what's in us. That kind of lopsided. And they were not born that way. That was a choice they made. Because I got people in this church who are abused. I got women who are abused who love men. Amen. Oh, why they chew and, and, and I have some. When they did try to attack them, they fought it. I have men in the church that were abused. That's why some of y'all stare at him. I know you abused. You act abused. You act abused. But I already knew. It's in your family. You weren't strong enough to escape. They got you when you were little. I knew that. You didn't have to tell me. Huh? You know what it made me do? It made me honor my mother. It's three of us. To my knowledge, none of us were abused. Here's why. Because my mother was 4'11", but she was a bad 4'11". She was a 4'11 that wasn't going to let us go around. None of those abusive uncles and people in that family. There's a, we, we, we didn't find out till we were grown while we didn't hang around certain people. No way in the world. She was a bad 4'11". My three kids are not going by, and, and you ain't never gonna get one of them isolated. My grandmother took care of her. My mother is in her grave. I thank God for Ruth Ellis, amen, who was a bad for a You are not gonna touch Delisa, you are not gonna touch Deborah, and you're not gonna touch Durani, amen. If they're not gonna be with me, they're gonna be with my mother, amen. We are gonna cover them. How you let your child go around every spirit in the name of family after what they done did to you? So I owe God. It was in our family. It's in your family. And then you look what happens if you don't stop it. They end up with somebody. They don't tell them. They end up messing. They want to know what is wrong. And you still dealing with a demon from childhood that's in your dreams 
alters your thinking and you won't even let the other person know and they want to th and then, then they think they're the reason why you unhappy it wasn't even you that's why you can't amen you have to thank God for Tuesday night amen where we peel everything back amen just because you've been molested does not mean you can't be a loving wife and a loving husband amen but you gotta find somebody you can trust amen when you open up that vault who won't be going in the vault to win an argument you gotta be able to talk about your childhood and what happened to you because it wasn't your fault oh, somebody say hallelujah amen there's no reason in the world amen that that eliminates you from having paradise on earth but you have to be married to the right person. Right. <sighs> Stay home on Tuesday if you want to. It's coming to your family. Then you want to rush in with crisis. Learn how to. We talk about everything. Pornography, you name it. On Tuesday it comes up. Because you don't want that in your family. Oh, no you don't. Huh? Every parent <laughs> should man you got to know who your child's friends are <laughs> this girl right here dropped two friends who were trying to set her up for because they got somebody who don't want to parent them ain't nothing worse than a daughter trying to a brother trying to compete with her own daughter so they you know they had no rules and they were talking about, you know, they, they got their own relationship with God. You know the same old mess, don't judge. You always tell them somebody living nothing. They were talking about, don't judge. You already judge. Huh? But she dropped off. She smooth dropped. She didn't tell me she was going to drop it. She just dropped them. Because they were trying to set her up. Because they want her to feel violated like they were violated. Huh? Oh, but thank God for the blood of the lamb. Thank God. She has enough supporting people. Amen. That help her God. You are not strange because you are kept by the power of God. You are not strange because you are not experimental you are not strange because you are male and you are virgin you are not strange because you are a woman kept. you are not strange you are God's child amen you are God's representative amen you are God's vessel and we verbally let our kids know you can stand by yourself we admire a Josh, amen, and a James, amen. We admire the parents who download. Your child has to go out in a wicked world where people don't care, where perversion is higher. You have no idea the level of perversion out there. Come on now. man. Keep it real. And your child has to come back home. Look at the teacher they rearrested. Yeah. 16 year old. Oh, not, uh, not parents are going to catch you. If they ain't already caught you. Already got a little society. Here. Man, you're supposed to stay on your child's Facebook page. You're supposed to grab their phone, and if they come up with a phone you didn't buy. That spirit, Teach. if you only knew the grown, old, grown, crusty men Come on, Bishop. who are on the internet. Right. And that child thinks she's talking to another 15 year old. Mm. Until. Yeah. Until. Yeah. He says, Meet me. Come on. Huh? Oh God, you have no idea. The friends that your child has who have been violated, who now I'm trying to pull them in. You have no idea. The boyfriends that mama brought over who are a bit more looking at her. <laughs> They came over because they wanted some y'all. You be the man on death row right now, huh? That we buried Amber Harris in this church. 
He got two kids, amen, by the daughters of women he lay with, amen. Somebody thank God for holding the church, amen. We will never be silent, amen. For the sake of our children, we will never be silent, amen. For the sake of that young man who's going to be a great man of God and a priest, we cannot be silent because it makes you uncomfortable. The fathers feeding their sons pornography. Just messing him up. Mm. Messing him up. Lord have mercy. Feeding them. Images. And the church they said, huh? power, power, Lord. Holy go power, power, Lord. <laughs> Power, power. Uh, mm. Now, you gotta kick the bed and pull back the cover. Amen. Uh -huh. We not handing nay generation over. No, right. Amen. We ain't handing no generation over. <laughs> Amen. Uh, read. And Adam said. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, shall a man leave his father. Uh, leave what? Leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife. Cleave to another man. His wife. Oh, hit, 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 hit a new game wife. in town. Since all the raggedy men can't take care of their babies and put them in foster care, now two men come along and adopt. So if two men adopt, amen, if two men adopt a male child, what kind of influence you think? Why? Because that man made all the and can't take care of them. Foster care is not supposed to raise our children. Some old crazy mother. Beaten up. Uh, one of my, uh, the young ladies that come to this church, they tell me, man, they, they talk to me. Because they could tell I was against the spirit, but I wasn't against them. And you know what they told me? The one looked the look like Alicia Keys, won't call her name. Huh? She told me, my mother, two of them told me, it wasn't beautiful. It was the fact that they mother, they never had a relationship with their mother. And that's what pushed them over. They never, they weren't a relationship with their mom. Once that I called the state on my mom because she was beating all of us, taking out her frustration. See, man, y'all, y'all playing. If you're not in a happy relationship, you're gonna take it out on your children. Amen. She said I had to call the state because she was beating us. Jesus. My mother hated me. Superhead, who they made fun of, spent her whole life on her knees. Chapter 3, verse 1. I hate my mother because every time I was in a relationship, she was chasing after some man. You cannot get around holiness. Holiness, amen, will save your life. You cannot get around a man and a woman who are equally yoked together and building a family. The benefits are now and for years to come. Somebody thank God for holiness. You can't get around it. Trajan oh her mama for not hooking up with a pervert Trajan was built from the age of 11 if her mama would have brought a pervert in she had to be protected until a kitty came along y'all ain't here So your family always putting their mouth on you. You won't let them go nowhere. You better believe they ain't going nowhere. The day of the sleepover is over. That day over with. Huh? Man, you, you, you. You have no idea the level of perversion. And the anger that it creates. Years later. 
Why didn't somebody protect me? Right. Come on yeah. My heart goes out to any man, or especially man, who will go get his child. I don't care how much it costs. Hey, man, I got women here who will not let their baby daddy see their child because of the influence around here. Because if you let one of those friends grab my child, ain't nobody going to be able to stop me. I don't care. We can go to court. It ain't going nowhere. It has to be dealt with. Thank you, Jesus. I go on record Come on, Bishop. to promote the family. I go on record. Amen. You need to sit your child down and have a long talk. Make them tell on a family member. I, I, I said make them tell on it. Amen. I ain't saying go to jail, but they don't know that when you confront them. Right, right. Huh? Uh, uh, now, you should tell on some people in your family. You ain't got no business losing your virginity in your own house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And, and yep. uncles and aunts and all these people still around looking at you that got a label on you ain't said nothing huh oh I'm a pastor I get the reports I get the books I got grown people who can't get past what was done oh but it does, since Satan and drew a lion in the sand we gonna come out fucking amen Lord have mercy if anything you can't change what they did to you but you gonna make sure they ain't gonna do it to nobody else amen don't be walking around here like you an icon of society and you done messed somebody's childhood up coach teacher Scout leader. Come on. Oh, get them all. Right. Right. Mm. Thank you, Father, for the truth. Mm. I ain't silent. No. Neither am I. Ain't. Ain't gonna have God get me. Amen. <laughs> Poor woman of God out there getting beat up. Huh? <laughs> and trust me, she was probably dealing with a spirit that pornography let in. And she wasn't going to have it. So Ellen gets on there and says, what she said about me. Ellen, it's your own story. Uh, I ain't met one ain't been a, 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 a molested. You were molested. Right. Huh? Now, you know what? Uh, let's do some hypothetical. Huh? You see, Pharrell tried to be careful because you just had a baby boy. You don't want your, you made a baby boy. You didn't make a baby boy with a man. Come on. You just had a baby boy. And you don't know, and I got proof, there's a website that there are certain men who want your baby. That's right. Woo they want it as an infant so you want to be inclusive let's go ahead and let them in we ain't letting them in matter of fact you come in this church you lose your life amen it's somebody here always strapped hey, y'all need to know that amen always <laughs> you gonna snatch beauty you going to snatch handsome here in the church? You going to come up on my little son here that I had to reach in the incubator and land? No, you not. And we ain't going to pray about it. Amen. You going to get dealt with. In Jesus' name, you will be dealt with. Amen. Somebody always got a strap up in here. You ain't coming to get Skyler. You ain't coming to get Chris. Hey, Amen. If we think you got some sissy on you, you going to get dealt with. You are not pulling none of our young ladies' pennies down. You'll be dealt with. Too much invested in them. We spent too much time with them. And some of y'all, by doing everything you can not to cry, because didn't nobody protect you like that. 
And the little raggedy church you went to wouldn't even mention it while you were sitting in church bleeding. Jesus. Oh my God. The raggedy church. The little raggedy reverend. Some of them trying to go with you. You first got your body. Here come reverend. Oh, come on now. We're going to deal with everything. Amen. We thank God that our children are still being children. And they're going to look out for the next generation. Ariel and her husband going to look out for the next generation. We're trying to replicate, amen, the next generation. How much talent? You ain't got enough talent to survive in this church. That's my job. That's my job. Amen. We build families. Yes, sir. Somebody in Florida mad because they couldn't put the family together. No, nah, you was trying to use them. I put the family together. Come on. You mad at me? Stay mad. Yes. <laughs> Break families up. <laughs> Got to love me some adjustments. Took some time. Come on. Family back together. That's my job. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spirits try to pop in there. We handle it. Amen. Hey, but we about family over here. Amen. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> you know somebody always looking at you, watching you. Uh, I got a couple people here with discernment of spirit. <laughs> so it, it, you present yourself a certain way. You couldn't guess them if I gave you 10 guesses. Uh, the test of a prophet is not 90%. It's 100. 100. Yes, and they got discernment of spirit. Deep little place. Don't let the empty seats fool you. <laughs> it deep place. Discernment of spirits. Amen. Lord have mercy. For the protection of the next generation. Huh? And it's a beautiful thing. I say it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Huh? To watch young men and young women grow out, grow up, and not be tainted by perversion. Right? <laughs> For this cause. Read that. That's God's plan. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave to another man. Unto his wife. That crazy. Ain't no girlfriend. Here. That's a cuss word. Girlfriend. You don't sit there and violate God and save her for no big way. What y'all gonna do in a honeymoon? Look at each other and go to sleep? <laughs> Put on Netflix? <laughs> Cost $10. Go to the courthouse. Be legit in the eyes of God. Right. Suppose you was in Fort Lauderdale in the baggage claim. And some fool strap up, come out and blast it. Huh? Nah, it's too late. Those spirits are everywhere. And I'm still catching that plane to pair. But those spirits are everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> no, you do it God's way. It matter. You want to have a big event? Invite all of North Omaha. I don't care. Make it a block party. Start grilling. <laughs> but get right in front of God. Amen. 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 The whole purpose. We got, we got a saint looking at a mini mansion. They're going to get it too. They're going to get it. And, and, but the whole purpose is because we got a child uh, that neither one of those parents it should be a law path that they shouldn't have children. That's how bad a parents they are. This child being bombarded with F-bombs and everything else. So the whole purpose is, is to get that child out of that house. And so, because the, 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 the child is innocent. So I got two ignorant parents. Did I say two or one? You know, two is the number after one, right? Two ignorant parents. So this child is because of all this hatred and this 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 this, this child is being set up either being an abuser or is being set up 
to be perverted or the target of perversion. Yep. Because that child will want love. You know what? Whoever loves that child the hardest first wins. Why you think we, we preach family over here? Because mother and father are supposed to love the child the hardest. So that's why they then they try to replicate that. But when you've been a whoever loves you for you don't care what it is. Am I right? You do it for a bit. Whoever loves you hardest the first wins. So this child is in a situation. So man, coach, we are making moves. Get that child out of that house. Huh? I told the parent, pray. You don't care how God do it. Yay, Lord. Amen. Free that baby up. Amen. That baby being bombarded with F-bombs and mistreatment. Matter of fact, we'll touch and agree right now. Free that child up. That's a loving child. Amen. That child won't love. Free it. God, do it however you want to do it. Amen. Get that child out of that environment and let a loving family shape his mentality so he can be a husband and a man of God. So the home, we all bring the child into a home so he can play with kids who haven't been cussed out. I tell you what's going to happen. That child ain't going to want to go home. <laughs> Just a piece of clay. Only been on earth four years. Clay know the difference. Children know the difference. Huh? So that, that right, because right now, if it continues, you know that child is going to be the target of perversion. Some old pervert going to offer that child a puppy or any kind of little toy and groom him and rape him. Huh? You need to know that. Uh, that child's whole view of, of, of of what family is is skewed by mistreatment. Man. They get the child out of there. Huh? So that saint is not getting this mini mansion just because it's a setup for the kingdom. Why can't the mistreated child feel the same love as the love child and that the love child what's on the love child turns the mistreated child away from anger because anger will control your life <laughs> that's why we build families here that's what call us the man church it ain't the shacking church <laughs> care about that and thank God you women who have been kept all of 2016 God bless you see you didn't bring no fool into the house you gonna bring a pervert in the house cause you can't be by yourself girl told me she said pass the ball at one in the morning Miss Gunn, she said, Pastor Ball, I need some place to go. What, what, where you at? My mama put me out. What happened? All I did, I told her that her husband, when she sleep, one of those little silly, you know, one, one of those women who's silly with a good job, good job of silly. That's like those men feast off on silly women with good jobs. She said, her husband, I told her, when she goes to bed, he comes down to my room. He always got to hug me. He always talking about how well endowed I am or whatever. So I finally got tired of it and told her. Matter of fact, my brother and I told her he has another family two blocks over. How dumb is she? We don't do dumb women at Grace. Nah, we don't do dumb women here. All right. Uh, huh? I said, so what? She said, she put me out. I need a place to stay. Had to go get her and send her to somebody's house. All because of that. And some of y'all ain't smiling. I already know. But we're going to deal with it anyway. 
Uh, that way you get a different outlook on baptism in Jesus name being filled with the Holy Ghost. That is your new start and your new beginning. Amen. That's when you can get a new lease on life. It sure beats that old time religion that won't address what's bothering you. <sighs> okay. And they shall be what? One flesh. Let's knock it out and I'm done. First Corinthians. Mm. Ain't had mega church stand for that woman yet. <coughs> Quiet. First Corinthians chapter 11. And I'm out. Mm. Uh, it talks about a custom that they had because prostitutes were dressed a certain way. You didn't know that before you call yourself a Bible. But pick it up in verse 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God, Great. but the woman is the glory of the man. So who's the glory of the man? The woman. So another man cannot be the glory of a man. <laughs> They just hurting each other. They just hurting each other. Yeah. That take ooh ooh child, things ain't gonna get better. <laughs> it's another level. They just they can't produce nothing. New meaning. And how do two beards scrub against two beards anyway? That's a lot of scratching and itching. Huh? Wow. And, 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 and as far as, I got kids here, so I got a little sense. As far as what freak them, you can teach your wife how to do that. If she can color, if she can color, she can do that. <laughs> you know, hey, that's why I make the big money here. You know what I, mean? I said, if she, if she can color, just get some crayons and a coloring book. If she can color, she can do that. All right. Amen. Somebody say amen. So I can go on. <laughs> you ain't got to get scruffed up. <laughs> you ain't got to get scruffed up to get that done. All right. Amen. All right. I'm in the, now all y'all look at spiritual. All y'all want to pray now. First <laughs> Corinthians chapter 11. She can color, she can do that. I read. For the man is not of the woman. For, for, for the man is not of the woman. But the woman of the man. Just to show you how messed up, always, one of those women always try to look like a man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? They sure do. Huh? But if she's trying to stand up in peace, she still make a mess, right? <laughs> So, so now you still got a mess on your hand. Either way you go, you got a mess on your hand. Okay? Uh, see, you, you, you know, pervert. Hey, be, because of, because of, uh, and, and I have the literature, which I will hand out when I get back from Paris. Talking about I was made that way, Lady Gaga? No, you weren't. No. There's no scientific study that says there's any gene like that. Right. Huh? It, it, it's nothing but clay. That's why husband and wife. Huh? Shape that clay. Shape that clay. In the first few years, huh, masculinity, feminine, you shape it. Okay, you shape it. Uh -huh. uh, the one used to come here, I used to call him, I call him son, even though he dressed like a woman. I know his whole story. I know when he was in his mama's womb. I know the man that rejected him, married her, but rejected. She was pregnant by another man. And I know that boy, that boy had never received, if that boy would have had Dante as his daddy, he wouldn't have been switching. He was not born that way. Amen. If he'd have had Dante, if he'd have had Preston as a dad, that boy would be. Hallelujah. It's nothing but clay. Huh? That not command. Y'all should have said amen. So even when you're single, if a man is too effeminate, you're like, uh-uh, you I can't have you around my sons. Amen. I can't have you around my young son. 
Lord, amen. Uh, this some this some stuff, ain't it? Huh? I can't have you right. around. You know where 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 my Kiki at? Look, uh, Kiki is working with women athletic. Just so a strong lesbian spirit don't come along and snatch one of those girls when they see how good she look and wearing her heels and her. Yeah. So some lesbian don't turn the whole team out. Yeah. Verse 8. For the man is not of the woman. Read. But the woman of the man. Verse 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. The only thing God ever created for a man was another woman. And you can't get him to change his mind. Amen. It didn't take Satan long to draw his line in the sand. The new frontier. Legislation is going to change. Church is going to get their 501c snatched if they don't marry whatever. Huh? Poor Obama put the rainbow on the uh, on the White House. Uh, he don't know what spirit he opened up for his two daughters. Huh? Uh, that was no time to be no politician. That was the time to be a dad and let it go back to the states and not have it on his record. Trust me, some coming after his long leg daughters. Trust and believe that. Amen. Because you had no business signing something you really didn't believe in. It's coming your way. Man, you can't, you can't, you can't go for vainglory and nothing. When it's all said and done, you got to stand on what thus said the Lord. Amen. That was the prophetic word. Amen. It's to stand. Yes. Be nine again. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. I had to go to Vancouver. Nabucco, who's in Japan, wrote a book about surviving, about being molested, about being raped. So Nabucco, her and Patrick, that's our ministry in Japan that we support, wrote a book on being raped. She took the worst thing ever happened to her. She told me, and when she told me, Steve, she just blurted it out. We was at a restaurant, and she just started crying, crystal clear tears. She said, I was raped. Saw a man try to talk to me. I said, no. I looked up. Somehow he got in her apartment, and I think he's getting out. I think he got 10 years. Anyway, she, wrote, she took the worst thing, wrote this book. So a girl in, D in uh, Vancouver read the book, and she figured because Nabucco was raped, and she had been molested. Horrific story. Where she said that she used to sit on the, on the couch with her mother's husband. And he would sit there and molest her while they were watching TV. And said her mother would just, man, that's why, man, a dumb woman. Uh, I, I'm going to say it again. Trey, you owe your mama for not being no dumb woman with all that beauty and bringing in some molest. This girl said that the man used to molest her. With the mama sitting there. So the girl fell in love with Nabucco. So Nabucco's like, I don't know what to do to this. Man, the girl made all kind of hints and stuff. So I had a sister here who left her mission. Her mission was supposed to undergird Nabucco. And she didn't, you know, she on some religious thing. Hey, you gone. Now, we got it done anyway. They're in Japan right now. But anyway, so the girl comes to the church. So I had this person who, that was their calling. They don't know where they would be today. If they had just <laughs> listen. So we, we didn't throw the girl away. We didn't throw the girl away. The girl was, it was out of her control. It was that parent. It was that parent. You come in the world unprotected. Somebody has to protect you. Huh? So we talked about man. We, I put the most man, dainty, feminine woman around her. That girl, she got to peeling back the labor, uh, 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 the layers of her life. 
In other words, why did I have to change my orientation over something that was done to me? Right. Huh? Why don't they change? Right. It's always the victim making the adjustment. So we peeled all that back. She got baptized in that. And so I had to go to Vancouver to talk to her. We walking down the street. So how you doing now? I said, you tell your partner? She started crying. She said, when I told my partner, I couldn't do this no more. She said, the girl then threatened suicide. And I learned then, if that spirit jump on you, it ain't just going to let you go. No, right? She said, my partner threatened suicide and that I messed up her life. And just, just man, I said, look, you got to walk with God. We went over what happened. We peeled the layers back. You were not protected. It was something done to you. Huh? Huh? And, and here's my theory. And there are people that had to work. There's 7.8 billion. Don't fool around. There might be a man that wasn't protected. Do y'all understand, amen, and y'all find each other because y'all had shared experiences and now y'all birth beautiful children who are never molested because of what y'all been through. You ain't got to go against the word of God, huh? Somebody will love you because what you experienced, amen, and that you still found a reason to praise God. Yes, sir. Every head bow. I stand in support of Pastor Kim Burrell. Every head bow. Bring your incident to the altar. And ask God for healing. And thank God for his word. Father, in the name of Jesus.